Hey guys, so I'm back with another Arbonne product review. Rachel Floyd, who has been so kind to send me products to review, um, sent me another one. And this is the FC5 Mattifying Powder by Arbonne. And it's a nice little compact. <laughs> okay. It's a nice little compact. It comes with a mirror. Oh, you can... Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> comes with a mirror so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, getting a little bit too much in one spot and not knowing. So that's kind of nice. You can see yourself in it. Oh, I need to tweeze my eyebrows. <laughs> anyway. Um, it is tinted green for redness control, so I wouldn't say that it would take the place of like your green concealer or anything like that. It's not that green. It's not green enough for that. It's not powerful enough for that. But it does definitely help with uh, like reducing some redness. Like if you get a little bit of flush in your cheeks from being hot or anything like that, it'll help tone that down a little bit. Um, now, I really like this stuff. I, what I like to do is um, put it on my eyelids before I put on my makeup, and it kind of helps tone down the oil on my makeup a little, or my eyes a little bit. So if you pair that with your primer or anything like that, it's kind of like um, double duty, I guess I would say. And ever since I told my mom about that, she does that all the time. So she loves the idea. She does it all the time before work. Um, this is great for brides, because like I said, if you get flush, you get hot, you get oily on your wedding day, that's definitely a no-no. You don't want anything to do with that. So something like this would be great like this to put um, in your little handbag or have like, you know, you know, some brides carry like a little a handbag on their wrist that has like maybe a lip gloss or something for a touch-up. This would be something great to put in there too. You'd get like a little travel size brush for it. That would be a really good idea. Now it comes with, and originally it comes with a powder puff, I believe. Um, now that I don't, I don't like powder puffs, so for that kind of thing, I feel like if I put that on and I'm wearing foundation, that it's going to kind of take off some of my foundation. So brush application is definitely a little bit lighter. Um, it is, uh, really great to put in your purse. Um, if you work in the office or anything like that, definitely something you could carry in your purse. Um, so I would buy two, really. Um, or what you could do is um, leave the big one in your makeup case and get like a little pair of tweezers and you could kind of get like a little a little cup for it or something like a little uh, um, pot or something like that and scrape some of this off in your pot and then you got a little travel size for your purse to keep in your purse. Um, now... I would really recommend this to just about anybody. Um, I love it. See, what I like to do with it is I just put a little bit on my brush. It really doesn't take a lot. And I like to go in the places where I'm kind of oily or I get oily. And I go down my nose, across my cheeks, my chin, my upper lip, and my forehead. And it takes away the shine. Now, I do like about it, some mattifying um, products tend to make your makeup look really caked on. Um, this doesn't do that at all. It still keeps my makeup looking really natural. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. That's one thing I don't like is when you can see, like, when your makeup sinks into your pores and stuff like that. I don't like that look because then it does, your makeup looks really caked on. And even if it's not, sometimes that's just the way your pores are. That's just the look that it gives. Um, so, yeah, um, I really like this stuff. I use it every day uh, it, with my daily skin routine. Um, oh, the other thing that I really like about it is that's not a hard cake. You know, some cakes are really kind of hard, and you really have to kind of grind them in, grind your brush in to really get any powder off of it. It's really loose, so it's really soft easy to blend, goes on transparent so you don't have to worry about your face turning green or anything like that because it's not that green. So um, yeah, definitely great product. Uh, so definitely something I highly suggest. Now Rachel once again was also so kind enough to send me a second one 
And this is for me to give away to one of you. So I've got a brand new one here, not even, not ever been opened or anything like that. And so I will put the rules for this down below on how to win this product. You, it's I think around $20 for this. Um, you can find it on www.desirableskin.com. Definitely a site you want to check out. They've got great stuff on there. Um, I've been using a lot of the products and I love them. I mean, even the uh, the uh, the thermal mask that I did a review on before. I've been using that the past couple days, which is why I got a couple of zits here. <laughs> so once I get rid of these, I shouldn't have any more problems. Um, I'm kind of bad with routine, so I was using it for a while, and then I stopped, and I started breaking out again, so I'm starting to use it again, and I've used it for the past three days now, and it's really pulling some gunk out of my face, which is good, um, because that's what it's supposed to do. So, um, check out the review for that, too. I'll put the review for that down in the link so you can find out more about that thermal mask. Um, so yeah, check this stuff out. And if you want to win this FC5 mattifying face powder, read the description box for all the rules. Um, thanks you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!